Hi, I'm Dr. Maxine Jockelson. I'm a diagnostic radiologist and in particular a breast imager. I am the director of uh, imaging at the Evelyn Lauder Breast and Imaging Center at Memorial Sloan Kettering Cancer Center. I'm a professor of radiology here and at Cornell Weill. So mucinous breast carcinomas are one of the rare, rarer subtypes of breast cancer. It is less than 5% of all women who have breast cancer. It's a disease that classically uh, occurs later in life, older women rather than younger women. The lesions are very well circumscribed. They are Sometimes they look very benign, and many times they can be missed because they look so benign, people don't rush to do anything with them. But there are some more distinctive characteristics. So just to, to show a picture with the, with the um, incidence and the likelihood of uh, having a mucinous carcinoma, you can see here, the most common cancers that women get are invasive ductal cancers. Um, then there are invasive lobular cancers, which are um, the second most common invasive cancer. Ductal carcinoma in situ is about a quarter of all cancers. And then there are all these uh, cancers with very small incidence, and that's, uh, that's where mucinous carcinoma falls. The other thing that's really important to note is that mucinous carcinoma patients uh, do very well. They are more of a less aggressive tumor. So here is an example of a classic mucinous carcinoma. This woman has a very fatty breast, so the cancer sticks out, so everybody can see it. And the borders of the tumor are circumscribed. You can draw a straight line around them. There's a little bit of lobulation. You see the little bumpiness, but you can see this with a lot of benign tumors too, things like fibroadenomas. So when you see this kind of a tumor, you have to think, well, this may very well be benign, but in an older woman to have a new fibroadenoma is not as common. And so you do want to at least do an ultrasound and get some more information. And in this particular patient, you can see the margins even better, and you can see they're a little bit lobulated, and there's kind of a little bit of a, almost like a, a thick rind around it. And then inside, this is heterogeneous. Ultrasound uh, beams kind of, they go into the mass and then they bounce back depending on the texture. And here you have different kind of textures within the mass. And when you see that heterogeneity, that makes you want to consider that it could be malignant because classically benign tumors are more homogeneous. This is something that um, is not 100%, but at least when you see this, it makes you uh, consider doing a biopsy. And um, here are just some more examples of imaging of mucinous carcinomas, and there are distinctive findings on MRI. Again, they can be circumscribed, but they can be T2 bright. And T2 bright tumors, you know, gen generally things that are T2 bright are fluid. And generally we consider um, when you see the T2 um, sequence bright, you usually think things can be benign. So again, here is a setting where you might make the mistake of saying, well, it's T2 bright, it's relatively circumscribed. On the other hand, this enhanced fast, it's not that perfectly smooth. And when you see something like this, you do wanna consider mucinous carcinoma in your differential and do a biopsy.